Hi, I'm Jasmine Maya, and I'll be talking you through this financial ratio comparison, which was done for Principles of Finance, Fall of 2015. This project was done by myself in conjunction with Molly Mumford. So today we're going to be looking at the financial ratios for the two large competitors, Walmart Stores Incorporated and the Target Corporation. Walmart and Target are listed as direct competitors by the second largest stock exchange in the world by market capitalization, NASDAQ. Both stores have physical retail stores, e-commerce, as well as mobile capabilities. So we're going to begin by analyzing the quick ratio for Walmart. This is sometimes called the acid test ratio and it is one of the best measures of liquidity. By excluding inventories, it concentrates on the really liquid assets with value that is fairly certain. In this case, Walmart's ratio comes out to 0.28. In Target's case, they hold 5,297,000 in current assets, including inventory, and 11,736,000 in current liabilities, which results in a higher ratio of 0 0.45. Next, we'll take a look at the profit margin, which is the revenue divided by sales. The profit margin ratio directly measures what percentage of sales is made up of net income. So in other words, it measures how much profits are produced at a certain level of sales. We went in with Walmart, the company had 16,363,000 in revenue and 485,651,000 in sales, giving them a profit margin of 3.37%. Target came out losing revenue, which brings them to a negative profit margin of 2.53%. Now we're gonna switch over to the inventory turnover, which is a measure of the number of times inventory is sold or used in a time period. Usually the time period is one year. So the equation for inventory turnover equals the cost of goods sold divided by the average inventory. Starting out with Target, their ratio comes out to be 5.83, meaning that they sold their total inventory almost six times in one year. Next, we have Walmart, whose inventory turnover ratio comes out to be 8.09.
When comparing these numbers, it makes it seem as if Walmart took their inventory almost two and a half times more than Target did it in one year. Now we're going to move on to the debt to equity ratio, which indicates the relative proportion of shareholders' equity and debt used to finance a company's assets. So in other words, it is the leverage. Target's ratio is calculated at 1.96. This is done by taking the total debt and dividing it by the total equity. So for Walmart, we take their total debt which is 122,312,000 divided by the total equity of 81,394,000, 81, which will come out to 1.5. So they have less debt to finance their company. Moving on to the return on assets. This will give companies an idea as to how efficient management is at using its assets to generate earnings. This is an indicator of how profitable a company is relative to its total assets. We'll begin by taking Walmart's net income and dividing it by their total assets, which will give us an answer of 8.03. For the last year, their net income was $16,363,000 and their total assets were On the other hand, Target's net income was negative, which will give them a negative ratio of 3.95%. Finally, we'll be using the DuPont method to analyze the two companies because it is a strong measure of how well a company's management can create value for its shareholders. This includes taking the net profit margin and multiplying it by the asset turnover and the equity multiplier. So in other words, you're measuring the operating efficiency, the financial leverage, and the asset use efficiency to get your return on equity. We're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the net profit margin, the asset turnover, and the equity multiplier. So Walmart had a profit margin of 3.37% and Target had one at negative 2.25%. Walmart's profit margin was almost 5% higher than that of Target's. This time, the total asset turnover rate was also in favor of Walmart by a small percent. On the other hand, the equity multiplier was slightly higher on Target's end. When you finally multiply all these numbers together, the return on equity favored Walmart with a number of 0 0.20, while Target came in with a negative 0.117. So after analyzing all of these ratios, Walmart seems to be in favor. Alright, and that's it for this presentation. Thank you so much for watching.